there, welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick review today of a novel called Found uh, by Todd Rigney, I think his name is. Um, somebody recommended this to me uh, here on YouTube, I think, in, in a comment. They said it was like, really shocking and stuff, so I thought I'd give it a read. I think it was published in 2015. It's a horror book and it's written in the first person perspective uh, from, from the point of view of like a young child who's about 12 or 13 I think and it's you know this young boy has got an older brother who's quite clearly some kind of serial killer he finds like severed heads in bowling ball bags in his brother's bedroom <clears throat> so it's quite a dark premise um, it's it's written as I say it's written from the younger brother's perspective and I think the author's done a pretty good job of kind of narrating the story from a child's perspective the prose is very easy and it, it's kind of simple and skimmable but I, I suppose you could see that as a good thing because you're supposed to see the story from a child's point of view so that, that's okay but um, I think that also kind of works against the book. The, the prose kind of, for me, it got a bit boring. There was too much mundane detail in it, okay? It's actually a very short book. It's only about 120 pages long, roughly. But it kind of felt longer for me. It, it's like, it just felt a bit um, repetitive in a way. So, you know, the, the, prose, the prose is good and bad in a way. There, there are a few typos in the book as well. Not, not, it didn't ruin it for that, but there, are, there were a few typos. Um, I wasn't really that blown away by it, to be honest. It, it, just, it just didn't grab me that much. I wasn't that scared reading it. And it, it's, certainly, it's certainly not re-readable either. I've read it once and that feels enough. It's not re-readable like, say, uh, The Necrophiliac by Gabrielle Whitcock. That That is a rich horror novel with with beautiful prose and I, I'm actually going to read that again. I didn't get that, that kind of feeling with this one at all. It kind of lacked depth for me. Um, I, I enjoyed reading a few references in the book. Uh, the movie Hellraiser is mentioned quite a lot. Uh, Stephen King is mentioned and Dawn of the Dead, I think, is mentioned. I quite enjoyed reading that. Uh, and I, I will say that the ending to this book is quite shocking. I, I quite enjoyed the ending. It's like really savage. And it, it didn't go for the happy ending as well. It, it didn't go for a happy ending, which I appreciate. I, I don't... I don't think all stories should have a happy ending, so I, I will give it that. Quite a shocking ending there that I appreciated, but it just didn't quite do it for me. And a lot of books that I'm reading at the moment are just not quite doing it for me either. I mean, maybe my expectations are too high, or maybe I've read some really good books in the past, and you know, that, so I'm comparing it to them. I, I don't know what's going on. A lot of books are just not doing it for me, and and this one, this is one of them. I just I'm just I just wasn't that impressed by it. I'm actually going to give it six stars out of ten. It it just it didn't scare me that much, and as I say, that the prose kind of works against it for me. The, the prose is a bit too simple. That the story is is not that strong either. The storyline is is just like. It's just about a child living with his parents and it's just like one big build up to one single final event. There are no clever twists and turns in it or anything like that. It's just the storyline is, is quite simple. Apparently it was turned into a film, which is quite surprising. I've, I've never seen the film, I can't comment on that. But um, as for the book, I, I, I honestly don't recommend it. 
Um, it's free at the moment on Amazon, by the way. So you, you could try it out for free. I got it for free, um, but I, I'm, it's not a positive review uh, from me for this one, unfortunately. Okay. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget you can pre-order my book for 99 pence, The Hand That Pulls You Under. Links below. Become a member of jamesflynn.org for more of my content. I'll be back with another video in a week or two. In the meantime, try to have a great day on this unpredictable, rambunctious, savage rock we call Earth. Thank you very much. Goodbye.